it's the time of the year again, boys. And uh, this is the NFL playoffs here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna give you guys my predictions. And it's been, bro. I mean, this season flew by very fast. And, bro, it, it felt like the draft was yesterday. But anyway. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to upload more, more videos like this in the near future. So if you want to see more, subscribe, like, click the bell to, to, to enable notifications. And yeah, boys, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting this off uh, in the AFC side on top, we have the Browns traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. And these two teams, they're divisional rivals. Uh, they face each other in week 17, which didn't really doesn't mean anything. The Browns won, but it doesn't mean anything. The Steelers rested their starters, so it doesn't matter because this time around, the Steelers are going to have all their starters. And, you know, uh, one thing that's very important to know, it's a divisional game. It's, it's pretty much a divisional game. Anything can happen. But anyway, I'm still going to take the Steelers. I think they're going to get it done here. I don't think the Browns, you know, you have a lot of players who it's their first playoff game. So I'm, you know, I'm going to root against the Browns in this one. You know, of course, I hate the Browns the most. I, I, I hate both teams anyway. I, I hate both teams. So... So I'm still going to root for the Steelers here. Next matchup in the AFC, you have the Colts traveling to Buffalo to take on the Bills. The Bills are one of the hottest teams in the league coming into the playoffs. Same thing for the Colts, but the Bills are a bit more into a winning streak. But anyway, I'm still going to go with the upset here. I'm going to pick the Colts. To come to Buffalo and pull off the upset. It's not going to be easy. I think it's going to be like a three-point game, three-six-point game, something like that. I think the game is going to be decided by a field goal or a bit more, a field goal or two, you know, or probably a touchdown at most. But I think the Colts are going to win. Why? Because... You're never going to know what you get from the Bills in a playoff game like that. Josh Allen's a young quarterback. I think he's going to come in all the pressure in the world, having an MVP caliber season. I think he might just crack under pressure, just completely fold. So I'm going to pick the Colts. More experienced also. Phillip Rivers is way more experienced than Josh Allen. Again, you never know what you get from the Colts week by week, but I'm I'm still going to go with the upset. Next matchup here, you have the Baltimore Ravens traveling to Tennessee, facing up against the Tennessee Titans. And like I said yesterday or 2 days ago in my in my Ravens versus Titans preview, I'm rooting for the Ravens. I'm rooting for my team. I'm going to say the Ravens win 34 to 20. I, you know, I'm going to stick with my prediction here. The Ravens are going to advance. I think the Titans defense is really going to cost them the game. And if, if the Ravens hold the Titans to a hundred rushing yards, hold Derrick Henry to a hundred yards, I think the Ravens are going to be fine. And the Ravens are also red hot red hot coming into the playoffs titans are up and down up and down up and down a bit and their defense it's like i think the titans would be favored in the, in this matchup if they had an okay defense and they don't even have that so i'm gonna pick the ravens here and uh, they advance to the divisional so now we're gonna get to the nfc side of the playoff bracket Let's start off on top here. You have the Rams against the Seahawks. Game is at Seattle. And honestly, um, I'm recording the video, what, Wednesday? 
right now. And Jared Goff is back at practicing. If Jared Goff plays, I think the Rams are going to come out with the win. And again, it's going to be a tight one. And it's going to be an upset. And people are going to be like, oh, uh, the Rams are really, really not very good in this in these past few weeks. Like, they've been not, not very impressive. But I think they're going to bounce back. Their defense is really good. If they... A guy like Aaron Donald, he's the right guy to actually just just disrupt the entire Seahawks offense. Just disrupt Russell Wilson. Just completely derange the Seahawks game plan. And that's why I'm saying the Rams are going to win. And the Seahawks, they've been, you know, it's been up and down. It's been, it hasn't been that good. Russell Wilson... Hasn't been playing that well in these past few weeks. And the Rams, I mean, they are that kind of team to actually pull it off. Pull it off. I'm going to root for them in this game. You know, so, yeah. Rams advance. Next matchup, you have the, the seventh seed against the second seed. Bears against Saints at New Orleans. And I'm simply going to say the Saints. I'm simply going to say the Saints. Why? Because Saints have the way better team. I think they have the way better offense, defense. I think, you know, like, I think the the Saints defense can really compare very well to the Bears defense. Like, they're both really good defenses. But the difference here, Mitchell Trubisky's offense, <laughs> not good. Not good. Bears offense really is the one holding back, holding them back from actually being, uh, you know, a dark horse team. And I really don't see them coming with that upset. And, you know, you have people saying, oh, Saints have the tendency of going one and done. That it's not true. It's It's not true. It's simply not. Saints have the tendency of most of the time of winning the first game but losing the second one the only times i've seen them lose in the first in the first round it's been and it's been last year and before that it's been not a lot of i mean many years ago many years ago i haven't seen them go one and done a lot in recent memory so i'm going to pick the Saints here. And it's going to... I think it's going to be in a crushing fashion. Or it, it just might be... Like... Uh, it, it might be a close game at some point. But then the Saints just... Just get away with it. You, you just get away with the game. And then it's going to be like a... 20 point game. Be because again... It's Mitchell Trubisky's offense. The Bears... The Bears offense really holds them back. From actually being... Uh, an above I mean I think they're an above average team but like actually be a team that that's dangerous next matchup at the bottom you have the Bucks traveling to Washington the division winner of the NFC least tank division it's you know what urinating tree actually calls it and the football team Making the playoffs for the first time since 2015. I'm pretty sure it was the first time since 2015 because it was the last time they won a division. But whatever. And I'm going to get into a bit crazy here. I'm going to get a bit crazy. I'm going to say the football team wins. I'm going to say the football team wins by like six points. A six-point game. Why? Because... Washington has a defense to stop Tom Brady. Their their front seven is insane. And I'm still going to go with the upset because Washington is able to do that. If Alex Smith is actually playing, honestly, like if, if Alex Smith is uh, is the, the guy for them, like if he's actually playing, I think they might pull it off. It, it might be... It, like, honestly, like, if I get this right, it, it's going to be the craziest prediction in, like, NFL history. Because it's a 7-9 team against an 11-5 team. And it's, man, 
it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be the biggest upset of the playoffs. And you know, I might get crazy, roast me in the comments how you want, but I'm still gonna say football team. I think the you know it, it happens and really like I see people predicting stuff and just picking the better team the better team on in the regular season it, it just looks boring like there is gonna be an upset or two or two three upsets in the playoffs it happens in in sports so I'm I'm rooting for the football team back to the AFC divisional round this time around Ravens traveling to Heinz Field to face off the Steelers the Steelers swept them one of those times was because the Ravens had 23 players on the COVID list shit happens but both games have been very close so if anything I don't think the Steelers are going to be able to beat the Ravens a third time especially if you know it's 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 basically a divisional game for both teams. It's division rivals. One of the best rivalries in the league right now. And probably ever. So, yep. I'm going to give it to the Ravens. I'm rooting for my team. I'm rooting for my team. Call me by how I want. I don't think the Steelers are going to be able to beat... The Ravens a third time this season at all. Especially with the run game. The Ravens running game runs over anything. The Steelers have a top 10 defense. A, a top 3. Top 3 defense. Run game is top 10. The Ravens don't care. They're going to run the ball down their throats. No matter what. So it's pretty it's pretty much that. It's pretty much that. They're not going to be able to stop them. Next match up here, Colts after pulling an upset are going to face off the Chiefs. So the Colts are the 7th seed. The Chiefs are the 1 seed. I'm going to give it to the Chiefs. But I think the Colts will get into an early lead. And by the way, if you hear the noise behind me, it's the it's a fire truck going crazy there. But I think the Colts are going to get into a lead early because of the Chiefs' rustiness. And also, they haven't been playing very well lately, and they arrested all their starters. Mahomes hasn't been playing very well, and he was rested in Week 17. So it's going to be two. It's going to be two weeks of bye. Right there. It's it's two weeks of not playing football. I think the Chiefs are going to, you know, like they're going to trail early, but they're going to be able to come back. And the game is going to be close, but they're going to be able to come back and win the game. It's going to be like, a, I think it's going to be a seven point game or I wouldn't be surprised if it was a three point game. The Colts are not a bad team. The Colts could look very dangerous at times so i mean in the first round i decided not to sleep on them by taking them over the bills but this time around i think the chiefs have the team to come back if they take the early lead but the game is going to be close it's going to be a good game very good game in my opinion next matchup on top washington football team against the saints I'm going to pick the Saints pretty easy here. If the football team pull an upset once, I don't think they're going to be able to do it twice. The Saints are a better team than the Bucks, also. And again, it's like, I think the football team are going to be, going to be able to let, like, you know, to hold the Saints to, like, 20 points. But I really think... The, the Washington football team offense is really going to hold them back in this game because the Saints defense is pretty elite, in my opinion, and they're going to be able to just hold them to maybe 10 points. It's going to be probably a, a 10 to 17 point game. The way I see it, probably like a 27 to 10 ish or 27, 13 ish. But, at you know, 
for a good amount of time, I think with the front seven they have, the football team are going to be able to match up well against that offense that the Saints have. But it's not going to be enough for them to win. Next game here. LA Rams against the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to simply pick the Packers because it's it's Aaron Rodgers MVP. You have Devontae Adams going crazy. It's it would be sick to see that duo in the playoffs in uh, in about 2 weeks. But I think again the Packers are going to be a bit rusty. But I don't think this you know, maybe the Rams are going to jump into a 10-point lead, like a 10 to nothing lead, and then it's going to go the other way. The Packers are going to tear it up. Aaron Rodgers are going to just tear it up. Like, do I have much to explain here? The Packers would beat the Rams, in my opinion, by maybe, maybe 10 points. It's probably going to be closer, but I don't think... The Rams are going to be able to pull it off. The Packers are are too hot of a team. Too hot of a team. They haven't been playing. They've they haven't had a bad game against you know against any team this season. Like it, I mean, except for like the Bucks. Other than that, really not. So there you have it. You have both championship games. It's it. It looks like very good games here. These would be very good games. Especially the Ravens against Chiefs would be a shootout in my opinion. It would be the Ravens running game against the Chiefs passing game. The way I see it. I'm going to predict this game. I'm going to give it to the Ravens. And it's going to be by three points. Game winning field goal by Justin Tucker. Will seal it here and it's gonna go to overtime so it's gonna be a shootout gonna be a shootout gonna go to overtime justin tucker is gonna get the game winning field goal sending the ravens to the super bowl this matchup it's it's the future of the nfl here this is the future of the nfl facing each other right there lamar against mahomes it's it's gonna be like breed Brady against Manning of the future, you know, like uh, when Brady and Manning were facing each other a lot in the playoffs, Mahomes and Lamar, it's going to be the same, same rivalry there. But this time around, Lamar is going to get his first win against the Chiefs and it's going to be in the playoffs in the biggest game of all three because the other three games were all regular season games. So Lamar is going to beat Mahomes in the biggest games. In the biggest game, pretty much, between these two. Here we have the NFC Championship here. Saints going to Lambeau, facing the Packers. I'm going to give it to the Packers. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be it's going to be a little bit less of a shootout, I think. It's going to be like a, a field goal game or probably a 7 a seven point game, a touchdown game, but you got to give it to the Packers. You have to give it to the Packers. It's it's simple. Aaron Rodgers is hot. He is red hot right now with Devontae Adams being he's he's been probably the best wide receiver this season. And it's not even close. I don't know how the Saints are going to be able to cover Devontae Adams. But again, it might be that thing where like Devontae Adams get, gets double teamed and Aaron Rodgers has nobody else to throw to. He does actually. He actually does because you have this Tunyon guy who looks like a top five tight end right now. He he's Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is making him look like a an elite tight end. He's making him look like like Gronk level tight end. Like, man. So the Packers are going to get the edge. It's going to it's going to be less of a shootout, a more defensive game, but the Packers are going to come out with it. 
Aaron Rodgers is simply the guy. And now we have the Super Bowl. Ravens, Packers, the 2019 MVP against the 2020 MVP. It's It looks like it's going to be a shootout, you know, and it's it's going to... It's going to be a field goal game. I think it's going to be decided by a field goal. The way I see it, you're going to have Marlon Humphrey against Devontae Adams. If we see Marlon Humphrey just lock up Devontae Adams, it is going to be hard for Aaron Rodgers. And also that blitz heavy, that blitz heavy defense that the Ravens have, I think it, it might be... Packers have um, the Divic Bakhtiari. If they do, if they do, I think it's not going to be bad for Aaron Rodgers. If they don't, it's going to be a tough day for him. The running game, it's unstoppable for the Ravens. You know, it's like, man, I'm going to have to give it to my team. I'm going to have to give it to the Ravens here. That simple. I have a, it, it's my feeling. I, I think the Ravens are going to win. I'm rooting for my team. Call me bias how you want. It's, it's that simple. It's that simple. I want my team to win. And, and I think they will. And it's going to be decided by a field goal. It's going to be decided. Score prediction of that game, if, if that happens. 37 to 34, Baltimore. Brings home the Super Bowl. Lamar wins his first Super Bowl. And yeah, this is how I think it's going to happen. I'm probably going to be wrong in some of them. Probably going to be wrong. So don't come at me after, after the results and be like, oh, you were wrong. It's a prediction. It ha I predicted before it happened. So if I'm wrong, it's not a bad thing. And I wouldn't give a crap. So, so don't come back in the comments after everything happens, all of this happens, and then you're like, "Oh, you were wrong. You're stupid. You're you're stupid." Like, no, I'm not stupid. I'm just predicting something. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. Just you know, I'm I'm just putting this out there. So. I hope you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Comment down what you think will happen in these NFL playoffs. And yeah, boys, I'm going to see you guys in the next one.